What? Smoking on my dragons, divine righteous, almighty greats, overachieving, never slacking. Today we got triumph, lay it on the line. My first time ever, ever hearing this song. And uh, like I always say, y'all know I get very excited for new reactions. So with that being said, original link will be in the description. And we about to get it started. Here we go. I know it ain't in like that. Hold on real quick. Hold on. Yeah, it did end like that. Man, those guys. Uh, my key word for this one, passion. They were like very, very passionate when they when they sung and the way they played. I mean, 
you got certain bands where it's like you could tell, okay, we just want to make sure we do good. You got other bands where it's like sometimes it doesn't feel like the guitarist or certain members are like, obviously they're into it, but it don't really seem like they, they going super hard. Then you got bands like this where they all were just, the energy was matching and they were all just so passionate and uh, fully just, it's just in it, you know, uh, singing their hearts out, playing their hearts out. Uh, I'm reading some comments about it. Right here it says the guy is trying to take the upper hand in a relationship and he's getting impatient as he needs to know what her feelings really are. And this was about, that's pretty much about the lyrics and the meaning of the song. Um, someone said, this is an awesome song next to Rush <laughs> and maybe uh, Seep Trick. Triumph is my favorite band. Shout out to Rush. I definitely got some some Rush comment um, content. I got a lot, I see a lot of comments that are saying Triumph was a pretty good band, and this was their best songs uh, to some people. Now, obviously, there's gonna be some die hard. Some people say some dumb comments. I'm not even gonna read what I just read, but but obviously, there's gonna be some die hard Triumph fans that are like. Um, Nah, you know, uh, they've got a lot of songs that probably should have blown up even bigger, you know, than they than they did. Let's hear some lines from it. see what I mean about that passion they just all kind of they all into it they're all like lay it on the line like I look at body language I look at the faces I look at the just you know all the expressions and you could tell that they all I would it feels like they all wrote a piece of the song I feel like those are the best bands when they play and it feels like they're so into it it feels like they all wrote a piece of the song Y'all see his eyes? That's what I'm talking about. That was crazy. Don't waste my time. Like, man. And then I feel like it's, it's so impressive to me when I hear a drummer and he has the, the microphone and he's just, he's just, he's just whew, singing while he's playing. I mean, I don't, it's just so impressive to me. It's like, it does blow my mind away. Like you're going all out on the drums and you still have time to just sing and just ugh, man that is impressive like all of them just impressive <laughs> It's a lot of songs I heard from back in the day with these bands where these girls was playing games, man. So it's safe to say that, um, you know, we can't just be like girls in my generation or just, you know, the worst of the worst. Because it sounds like it was a whole lot of games being played back in the day, too. Now, I'm going to be fair and I'm going to say girls in my generation definitely do be bugging, though. Like, they be bugging in the sense of... I feel like everything nowadays is over-sexualized. And, you know, a lot of females in my generation are like in competition with men. Social media always giving options. So they just, it's a little different. But clearly back then, there was a lot of games being played too. But with that being said, that was Triumph. Uh, lay it on the line. And they definitely did an amazing job. Like I said, my keyword for this song is passionate. Definitely got got me into it. You know, I just came from the gym, so I'm you know I'm still sweaty. In case you know, y'all see something under the armpit, you know, no. still you know pull ups, push ups. I know even my face, I'm probably sweating right now. About to hop in the shower, but um, yeah, passion, passion, guys, passion. I mean, the way his eye, <laughs> the way his eyes lit up, like it just it just sucks you in. You know, it's an amazing performance. And all, all of them, the way they were in tune with each other and just, uh, man, I love it. I love it for a first time listener, somebody who never, ever even heard of them. 
Um, I definitely lay, laid it on the line. Every time I listen to new artists, because I don't know if I'm actually going to like it. I don't know if I'm... So, you know, they, usually I do like it, though, for the most part. Um, there's actually been many reactions, you know, just to give you guys a, a you know, a little behind the scenes, you know, a little, a little uh, hidden secret. There's many reactions I've did that I have not dropped where I'm like, I just, I can't even, I just don't like it. I'm going to tell the truth. That's, that's the truth. So anytime y'all see one of these reactions actually make it to my, uh, to my page and my reaction. Yeah, I, I did enjoy it. But there's been times where I've been halfway through one of these bands, one of these rappers, one of these vocalists, and I'm just like, uh, I'm just, I'm good. I'm just, I don't want to, that, that's happened many times. So shout out to Triumph, lay it on the line, original link in the description. And, uh, that was amazing. With that being said, everybody enjoy your night and I will see y'all soon. Much love.